Hey guys. Well, sorry we look terrible, but uh, it's been a week. Friday morning and uh, drove all the way down to uh, Thompson Grove it's right, right here in Texline Texas yeah. and yesterday we stayed here to regroup and get everything set up cleaned out reset up to be back in the trailer again planning to stay there for a few days because it's warm enough here they allow you to stay 14 days there by the way yeah. um, so yesterday, uh, our solar, I cleaned it all off as I always do. It was doing and great. We pulled it up to 100%. So we woke up day two uh, with a number 21 fault on our solar charge controller. It says to unplug everything. I checked all of the cables, all of the ground cables, which is what it's related to. It's the current sensor in the controller. Unplugged all the cables, and then I just plugged in the battery the two leads that go to our battery bank and it turned the fault on. So I unplugged those. I plugged in our two solar cables. Fault came on immediately. So it's not the cables. Uh, the cables aren't shorted. Um, and it's not the battery bank and it's not the solar panels. So all that's left is the controller. So it's a Sunday. <laughs> so we can't get in touch with Victron or Battleborn right now, um, but we're, we have left a message. Hopefully they'll get back to us tomorrow, um, but we are choosing to pack up. We are choosing to pack up and head to um, Wichita Falls because that's where our uh, mailbox is. So whether, um, so that we can get a new solar charger sent to us. There's a reason why we ripped out the Red Arc system out of this trailer and put in Victron Electronics and Battleborn. We get to put a full 30 to 50 amps in from solar at the same time that our DC to DC charger that's 30 amps gets to push 30 amps into the battery. So if this would have happened with the Red Arc system, we would have zero power in the entire coach, no DC to DC working, no solar working, no nothing. So there's a reason we did this on purpose. It's because we actually use this rig full time. So yes, our solar charger is broken and we'll get it replaced. While we're driving right now, our DC to DC charger is putting 30 amps into the battery bank. So yeah. we're still gonna show up where we're going with a full battery bank. However, we don't want to just run the car as a 30 amp generator because fuel is not cheap right now. So we are, uh, for the first time ever, for the first time ever, we have to plug Blaze in. Yes. And that's very sad. Hopefully it will be a short lived experience and we'll be able to get a uh, solar charger to as quickly. We have plugged this trailer in before when we were at people's houses just to condition the batteries because it is good to do that. Um, but we've never had to plug the trailer in. Even when we've gotten, and you guys have seen, we've been three, four days with no sunlight and our uh, battery bank gets down to six or five or even this last week when we were in Colorado and somebody stole our power, we were actually at zero. <laughs> Our batteries clean, are still you, good. You clean the solar panels off, you let them start pushing, they get the batteries up to temperature, and then they start pushing hard. And our panels push hard because I keep them clean. And uh, I've run 10 gauge, it's 10 gauge wire coming out of the back of the panels. And it's 10 gauge all the way to the solar controller. And then the solar controller to my battery bank is four gauge. So, um, 
the cables never get hot. And we don't lose power. Yeah, there's in the no lead. there's zero power loss across the cables. There's zero power loss. There's zero heat in the cables. There's nothing. There's a reason that we built it this way. After speaking to Battlehorn uh, and Derek at Battlehorn, uh, we overbuilt this system on purpose. And there's no heat in the wires. We have zero power loss in the wires. In fact, our DC to DC charger is so good, it's actually pulling 60 amps off of our battery. It pulls 50 to 60 amps off of our battery in the and car. runs it down our zero gauge cable and it actually hits the controller at 55 amps. And so then it just tones it down and puts 30 and I've seen 32, but it basically puts 30 into our battery bank. So, yes, it's more expensive to do everything a little bit overbuilt up front, but it's days like today that we're thankful for it. It pays off. There's a reason we did it because if we weren't, if we had the Red Arc system that comes in this trailer, no. we'd be out of luck. We'd be out of luck. We'd be the, the everything in the fridge would go bad because. I mean, there's nowhere to plug in around here. We would lose two to $300 worth of food in the fridge. We would have no ability to run our electric heaters at night because it's down in the 20s. So there's a reason that we stripped out all their stuff and put in good high quality, overbuilt cables, oversized cables. We put in the best electronics that you can get, which is battle-borne lithium, heated lithium, Victron Electronics. There's a reason we did that because we actually full time. And it's also the reason that we will continue to use those products on our next rigs. Yeah, so. even even this temporary rig coming up, we're gonna we're gonna overbuild it with Victron and Battleborn heated lithium. We're gonna put it in the big old fat cables and bus bars, and we're gonna build it just exactly the same. So whoever does get this trailer. As long as the, everything is good to go, you got nothing to worry about. Like I said, we've never had to plug. We've never had to plug this trailer in because of the way we built it. So we've got about a what a six-hour drive still, and it's just after lunch. So we'll be getting there in the dark, um, but it'll be worth it having made the trip. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's Monday. Battleborn contacted us back very quickly. Um, if you didn't know, Victron is a five-year warranty. So they are going to warranty it. And they're going to ship it out to us real quick. <clears throat> and take care of that for us. So yet another reason to work with Battleborn batteries. Um, and they do all the Victron energy stuff as well. They stand behind their stuff and they quickly, quickly take care of customers' needs and they quickly take care of warranty. So we're super excited. We are beyond excited for this next video coming out. The next video is our goodbye blaze video. We are doing an upward diagonal and we have an incredible opportunity. And yes, the new trailer is going to have Battleborn and Victron stuff. As soon as we can get it inside there, we're going to build it out and we're going to walk you through that whole process. And this system is going to be a little bigger because the new trailer is a little bigger. So we're super excited. Thanks for hanging out and sticking with us, guys. We are on to the next adventure.